Daily Mail. 118,000 sign our passport petition. So I'll just translate that for you. 118,000 beg to their uh, owner to change th what they're doing. This is what a slave does. Please, master. Please, master. Let me let, let our country produce our own passports. No, don't give it to us, some foreign country. And the uh, the boskers. You're just a low life piece of shit. I don't have to pay any attention to anything you say, cause I'm your boss. So you can go do one, you peasants. Spring clean your finances and save thousands. Money mail pull out, yeah bullshit. As hedge funds bid to make a killing for sale from sale of firm that made that made Spitfires. Don't let vultures destroy a British colossus. It's a bit late for that. The government's already done it. Porn star and TV interview that could humiliate Trump. Could. So it could not as well. <laughs> the play on words is almost hilarious. Well, it's not almost hilarious. It is hilarious. The Times. Hunt urges 10-year deal to fix crazy NHS bus budget. You mean the guy that wrote the book, How to Dismantle the NHS, is trying to sort it out within 10 years to make sure that it is dismantled? Yeah, that's pretty much how it works. Health Secretary pushes for a health tax. Yeah, we've done the window tax, we've done the bedroom tax, let's have a health tax. Because the next one we've got is the breathing tax, which we're already doing, that's the carbon tax, of course. So we're taxed to death. Are you going to take this any longer? Or are we going to stand up and start destroying these councils, the plea corrupt police forces, the corrupt courts, the corrupt, well corrupt pedo government? Yeah, no. You're just going to let the kids be abused and murdered and raped? Or are you going to stand up and do something? Because the time's coming very, very soon when you either stand up or you let them tre tread straight over you. Choice is yours. Be on the right of good or be on the right of side of evil. The choice is yours. Cricket for some reason. May aid on brink of uh, after outing ex-boyfriend. Hmm. The Guardian. Karen Brady, our sexism, business and the crisis at West Ham. The briefing, how the microbes in our gut could herald a revolution in medical science. Hmm. PM faces call for answers over vote leave claims. In other words, well, vote leave may not have done it quite correctly, so we're going to have another referendum where we'll fix the vote this time to remain. And the picture. March for our lives. We can feel it. Change is within reach. Brainwashed. Every single one of them. But it doesn't take them all. You don't need them all brainwashed. You only need a, a few brainwashed and they'll egg the rest of them on. The only reason they're back in this is because it's been put up to them by Soros, I would suspect, because they want to disarm the Yanks. The Brits are already stupid. We've got no weapons. Um, and what's the most prevalent uh, crime in, in the UK where someone gets killed? Knife crime, because we can get access to them. So it makes no difference whether you have guns or, or knives, unless, of course, they want to disarm you so you can't stop them bringing in the dictatorship, which, which is planned. Except, of course, most of you know about it, but you're sitting there. Ooh, what can I do? What can I do? I know, I'll, I'll, read, I'll go and watch Mark Salon, see what he's up to, because he tells it how it is. But you're not doing anything. You're allowing, you are allowing the dictatorship to be unrolled out in front of your faces. Report gender pay gap or risk, court firms told. Australian uproar over ball tampling. Who gives a shit about cricket? 
one of the most boring sports on the planet, but it's headlines apparently. <laughs> you have to forgive me there because I'm just looking at the um, mirror. And up above where it says mirror, it says 75p. Um, I don't mean that. Fighting for you. We don't obey our controllers who tell us what we can and can't write. We're fighting for you. Bullshit. Dex Baby Joy. It's bittersweet for Ant. Paralyzed Dad's Walking Hope. Miracle of Bomb Victim. Shredded by shrapnel at Manchester, he gets movement back in legs. Oh, piss off. God, this propaganda is just so shit these days. It's not even distracting, which is its main job. The press have one job. Keep the public distracted. And they can't even do that because all they spout is such bullshit that you can see through it. Metro. It's just not cricket. Ball tampering Aussies on a sticky wicket as questions raised over ashes. You mean even in the most boringest game on the planet they've got to cheat? It shouldn't be a surprise though because they cheat all the time. Everything is corrupt. Everything is bought and paid for. Every outcome is already arranged. Apart from occasionally when things don't go quite their way, in which case the ref will sort it out and make sure it goes the way it's supposed to. Corbyn. Sorry for Labour's anti-Semitism. Leader owns up to failing as his party face protest. Anti-Semitism. The Zionist scum. That's all they are, Zionist scum that created anti-Semitism. How, how dumbed down are we? How dumbed down are we? Daily Telegraph. Charlotte Gainsborough. My father and the incest scandal. Body matters. How I reversed my midlife diabetes. I would suspect that you started eating organic vegetable food rather than the shite that they were fed, force fed. Badly behaved mothers are our new obsession. See, even your mums are bad. You know, everything's bad apparently. Judy, Jewish leaders say Corbyn is hostile. Labour leader accused of siding with anti-Semitism Semites again and again as he faces backlash from MPs. The only anti-Semites are the Zionist Jew scum. Holy Spirit. Just a picture of a, a priest that's about to take a young boy off him. Do dirty things with him. EU holds threat of breakup over Google. Okay, I believe that when I see it. England raise eyebrows as cricket cheating for all rocks Australia they faces calls for tax to fund the NHS oh f give me a break this has been planned all along I told you they were gonna tax us to death because they like to keep t taking from us because if we ever have enough left over to actually have a joyful peaceful life they wouldn't be in control. So they just create a new tax every chance they can to keep robbing us. And we let them do it. Don't, don't, don't think this is, this is something we can't stop. Because we can. But you're going to have to stand up and face the facts. That we're run by a bunch of Satanist, Luciferian, paedophile, child raping murderers. But you let them do it. You let them get away with it. Oh, more bullshit. Are you ready for the hay fever season? Hay fever, which was brought about by the toxins in the air, food, drinks, 
don't worry about it though. You just sit there. You just be a keyboard warrior because you know. What can little old you do? Little old you can stand up and go out and start speaking to everyone, explaining what's going on, whether they call you crazy or not. Or you can just let it happen, because if it happens, it's game over. You die. Can you see how serious this shit is yet? Or are you just going to sit there doing nothing? Trump poised to kick out Russian diplomats. Because, you know... The West are all in it together, along with Russia, really, but they don't want you to know that. Russia's their, their, their yin and yang, if you like. <clears throat> of course, it's in the paper, so it could be a pack of bullshit lies anyway. A bit more flexibility is what's needed on Brexit. No, it, no it's not. A bit more firmness. Hey! 72 Act repealed. Seskavi Act repealed. You're all free now. Oh, and we're out of that evil dictatorship known as EU. But we've got to get rid of the dictators in Parliament. Viagra to go on sale over the counter. Pharmaceutical companies aren't making enough, so we're going to sell it over the counter now because we know for a fact that it actually causes impotence. So take it, yeah, you'll get a stiffy for a while, and then you'll be limp dicked forever. Do your research, that's all I say. Do your research. Be anything but independent. A cheating scandal that beggars belief. Australian Prime Minister criticised cricket captain Steve Smith over the ball tampering row. Young Britain's the new face of modern slavery. Wow! They're actually telling something how it is. Of course, it'll be mixed with bullshit. Teenage victims are being used for sex or as drug mules. Well, it's actually quite close to the bone, actually. Rather interesting and surprising because the unindependent is exactly that. But of course, we're in a time of great change where it's time to stand up and of course you'll watch this and you'll go away and you think oh well yeah she's right you should do that and then you'll carry on doing nothing well you do nothing if you want it's to your own detriment they're coming and they're coming for you now just going back to the thing earlier with the um in whatever paper it was with all the yanks going oh we want gun control we want gun control do a bit of research into history. That is Hitler Youth. Financial Times. Lessons from Lagos. What Nigeria can learn from its largest city. Back the little guy. Smaller companies and countries are safer bets. Stop spam. Is it time to start charging for email? No, it's not time to start charging. It's time to make everything free the way it's supposed to be. Puigdemont's arrest triggers Barcelona rally. May battles to keep Britain in EU's 10 billion Galileo satellite programme. Yeah, yeah, because, you know, that's going to make a difference to us, isn't it? 10 billion, oh, well, you know. We're a rich country. Everyone in it is not, but we're a rich country. Because the elite scum parasites have stolen everything. So we're a, elite, a rich country, but we can afford to we can fund that by ourselves, no problem. Um, let's just take a bit more from the poor. Let's increase taxes. Let's increase rates. Let's increase council tax. Let's just rob them a little bit further because they seem to be having too much money to enjoy themselves. So we need to rob more of them because the dumbasses just carry on paying us anyway. Hey, it's a win-win situation. We increase robbing them. They become poorer. They do as they're told. They're in more fear. We keep control. We treat them like the slaves they are, but hey, they don't realise it. And whose fault's that? It's their own for not doing their little tiny bit of researching to see what's really going on. But hey, 
who cares? They certainly don't because they let us get away with it. So let's keep going. Brussels cites dangers to post-Brexit security. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Because who's pulling out this this line and pulling out of that massive dictatorship? It's going to pose security problems because oh wait, they won't be able to dump all the immigrants in our country anymore. They'll have to keep them themselves. Hmm. But that won't undermine the UK. We'll claim that it causes a security problem and they'll have to stay, even though they're never going to go anyway, because, you know, the politicians are bought and paid for prostitutes. The police bought and paid for prostitutes. Solicitors bought and paid for prostitutes. The council bought and paid for prostitutes. The courts bought and paid for prostitutes. Have I left anyone out? Oh, the government bought and paid for prostitutes. Industry fears loss of contracts to France. Well, what we'll do then, as being a, a government for the people, by the people, we'll just get the passports printed over there then, shall we? Yeah, because, you know, we're the UK's government and we do what the shit we want. And you know what? Who's going to stop us? Little old you, little old you, can't even get off your arse and talk to someone about what's going on. Little old you.